and welcome back to Divine Hives. Thank you for joining me again. Um, today is, I just can't really see my face. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, today is um, Hive Maintenance Day and I'm almost out of smoker fuel. So, I have some supplies here with me and I'm going to try my hand at creating a smoker fuel that's self-contained that I can just drop in my smoker light and it'll do its thing. Right now I am using these little sage sticks right here. Well, not just this, like I've got a whole bag of leaves or a whole box here now. So here I have white sage. Um, I've been really enjoying using white sage because it, uh, not only do I love the smell, but it's a natural smoking fuel. Oh god, I think my phone is falling. Anyways, alright, let's fix this. Um, anyways, it's a natural smoking fuel. Like, it does a very good job of staying smoldering and smoking, and this is not going to work. Fingers crossed. Anyways, um, it smolders and it smokes and it's wonderful. So I've been using that. I started with the little wood pellets that came in the kit, but man, it took forever to get those things lit. And then they didn't want to stay lit and I just, it, I gave up. So luckily I had a whole bunch of sage laying around because I love sage. Um, so I started using that and I really liked it. So my plan of action here, um, it looks like a lot of this is bundles of sage, but we do have a handful of sage leaves right here. Um, I don't really care if it's bundled, but I'm not really looking for that right now. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to, these stems are a little thick, so I'm just going to break off some of these leaves here and into the book, into this bowl. And I'm going to mix. I'm going to create a mixture. Um, I was just using sage, but uh, as you can tell, I burned through it really fast and it's not really cheap. Definitely not the cheapest smoking fuel. So I'm trying to create a mixture that is going to last me a little bit longer. And also, uh, maybe have some different properties to it than just the sage. Um, I read some articles on the internet um, about creating smoking fuel, and um, there seemed to be a consensus that you need something with an oily base so that it stays smoldering. Or, I don't remember, something like that. Just so it burns longer. Um, okay, so here we've got some sage crushed up. These are kind of big still. So I'll just crush them up a little bit more. Try to make them all about the same size, or, you know, that's impossible, but. Okay, so here we have this. And next I have cedar chips. Um, I got these off of a suggestion from Reddit in the beekeeping forum, and, uh, because my hive appears to be mite free. Appears. I've had it for two months now, and I have not seen any evidence of mites. I have not seen any mites on my mite board. Nothing. My colony is doing fantastic. So... I looked up um, I tried to ask some people about what I might be able to use to help oh god my phone's falling again sorry guys <laughs> I'll get better at this once I know what I'm doing I'm new I'm a newbie 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 BB keeper anyways bear with me um, so someone mentioned that I should maybe use cedar shavings because cedar 
is a natural insect deterrent. I thought that was a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Here, let me try it. I, yeah. In case you're wondering, I'm taking my camera, my phone, to the tripod because it won't secure on the tripod. I guess I'm a loser with not enough money for proper freaking equipment or something. Anyways, I don't know how to make this stay here and show you the bowl at the same time, you know? It doesn't look like it's going to stay. Anyways, so I brought I bought cedar shavings because one, they're oily, and two, it's a natural pest repellent. So I'm going to add some of this into here. About the same amount as the sage. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, about that. And already I've got a good amount of fuel right here. Oh god, my phone is falling off again. Okay. This is embarrassing. But I don't know what to do. Okay. So that's about as good as I can get. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Anyway, so we have this. Now, I'm going to add some lavender. Why lavender? It's beautiful. And it smells good. And it's going to create nice little tiny chunks that will really burn up. And burn up quickly. Also, um, lavender... is used commonly in the Wiccan community for peace and dreams and um, uh, even like exorcisms of you know spirits, spirit communication, stuff like that. So I am adding this for all sorts of amazing reasons because our name is Divine Hives and here at Divine Hives we work with spirit and the bees in an effort to recombine or re um, ignite the uh, relationship between uh, the bees and the gods and the humans that work them. Because bees were considered, and maybe are still considered in some cultures, uh, messengers to the gods. So, we have this lovely mixture here. It's beautiful. Oh, it smells really amazing too. That lavender is very intense. So we are going to put this up here. Just like that. And like that. And now we're going to put them in these coffee filters. Now, it doesn't take a lot of, I don't need my smoker smoking for a long time because I only have one hive and I'm not in there for very long. And so I'm just gonna pack uh, maybe about that much, maybe a little. Uh, I wanna be able to twist it up and close it, you know. So, maybe that, and then maybe we can just squeeze it and compress it, and create a little knob. There, see? It kind of looks like a head of garlic. Smoker bomb fuel. So, I'm just going to continue to do that here. The rest of these. And twist. Um, I won't 
Since I don't really have video editing equipment yet, I won't be able to show you the results of this in the same video. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and make the rest of these up, and I'm going to end the video here. And then the next video that I upload, I will be attending to my hive and trying out my little, new little smoker bombs. So once again, hi, thank you for joining me here. I hope maybe this has helped you. I don't know. If not, um, then, you know, just do what you do. And if so, leave a comment that you uh, liked what I did here and you tried it and it helped you out. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day.